Ah, well, hey there, guys. It's Havana's here. And, well, I was planning on doing, a, like, an introduction uh, video with gameplay footage and whatnot, but I figured it'd be easier to kick off one of these. Like, a, a, just a kind of a vlog style. So, here we are. What does my channel bring to YouTube? My channel brings to YouTube a learning process. I am not the end-all be-all for the games. And no one would ever claim that, I don't think. Um, probably not. Uh, what you would claim is that you are a decent player. I am, I guess, a decent player. Um, the thing is, with me, my emotion for anger definitely seeps through when I'm playing games such as LOL, World of Warcraft, and PvP, um, and you know, MOBA games and whatnot, and maybe even uh, games like, you know, console games. Now, sure, I get angry at them. I get pissed off. Um, but I don't transfer that in my videos. What I do when I go for my videos is I try to do a calm, collect uh, way of looking at it. So take for instance my League of Legends series, uh, how Vana sucks at League of Legends. Um, I'm pretty like uh, by most people's standards, I'm a pretty terrible player. But by my standards, I'm a player who is starting low and improving each game he does. Each game I do, I have a, an immense improvement for the next game. For example, my latest one shows how I'm starting to use more of actual builds for Garen, um, one of the champions in League of Legends. It's showing that I'm learning the ability to stack my uh, to stack my talents and my runes and all that stuff for um, end game play. I'll never ever be a, like a tournament style player. Uh, it's probably not going to ever happen. But what it does is it gives sort of a oh it gives more of a, a learning process to people who may not be as good as I am so for instance um, I make a World of Warcraft PvP video and someone comments on that how do you, how do you focus on getting those killing blows how, how do you go in and you know try to go for more killing blows, more honor. What's the best way to do that? And I will respond to them in a video saying simply this. Going for killing blows is not what you want to go for. You want to go for the ability to help your team. Helping your team is important. It's key. Because without your team uh, helping you, there's no way that you as a single person are going to win that battleground. Win that PvE style thing. Unless you are... No, I'm not going to say that. That's kind of racist. Um, unless you're a very talented player who is known or has the ability to solo current content, which very few people do, excluding Death Knights, of course, because, well, you know, they can solo anything, um, you know, you're not going to be detrimental in, in defeating that boss or defeating that person. You do, however, play a part in that. Helping someone defeat a player or a boss, you work on your team working skills. Teamwork creates the potential to win. So, I transfer that into my LOL games. If I, if I do LOL with, let's just say, let's say Sinister. If I do LOL with Sinister B, and he's playing the Darius, I'm playing Garen, we don't really stay, we stay close-knit, but we do not, we try not to overextend, we try not to let um, our third teammate have to take on two or more people alone, we try to stick with that person. Now because we know each other's playstyles and we know each other's characters, I know that he can do bottom or top lane uh, in 3v3 
at, at any point, um, whether I need him to or not. He'll go and do that. Um, but he also knows that I can do the same. I can go top, bottom, and I can go to a solo, and we can get down those two towers and then go into the inhibitors. But without him or I, or the other person, keeping people busy on the bottom or top, depending on what one we're on, if we're on the top one, the opposite one's going to be bottom, vice versa, if we're on the bottom one, the opposite's going to be top. Um, without the distraction on the either side, well, we wouldn't be able to go in to those turrets, we wouldn't be able to take the creeps, we wouldn't be able to go into the turrets, and wipe out the turrets, and then the inhibitor. Then we go over and we we converge, we'll say, hey, come on guys, all over into the left or right side, whatever. Um, let's take down their nexus. Let's get the nexus down. And without that teamwork, that game could last forever. We might win, but it could last forever. Huh. What games do I play? I play League of Legends. WoW. Um, Need for Speed. Online. Uh, I play Steam games. I try to do quite a few, um, you know, mini games in my off time. I play Pokemon. I play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I, I play Magic. Um, and Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. Those are the physical card games. I play the card games, um, and I do like playing the card games a lot. Uh, and to those of you who say, well, this video is obnoxiously long. Well, you know what? It's a long introduction video. I want to show you guys what my channel is about. And if you're going to take the time to watch it, I suggest that you, you definitely take points on what my channel is about. Maybe it will help you find interest in my videos. Maybe it will help you find, uh that you know somebody who has an interest in these type of videos. And if you do, I want you to spread them around and tell people. I have always been of this. As long as one person, I don't care who it is, one person puts a view on one of my videos, I will continue to make videos no matter what. I'm, I'm not going to give up. When YouTube went through the whole, we're, we're banning everybody and we're, and we're, and we're taking Oh, wait, people's subscribers. I lost 150 subscribers in total, I think. I'm not quitting. What's the point to quit? It just shows that they win. Do I like the old YouTube better than the new YouTube? Hell yes. Old YouTube was better. If you got a video and it got 100 views, that was put into a top 10 for the day. And then people would see it more. They would go ahead and just see it more. That's the way I wanted it to go. And I do vlogs. I, I, I do vlog. I try to vlog at least once a week. Um, now the channel name in, in, on my channel says a video is five days a week. I've been working. I've been a little bit busy, but it's starting to the point where now I know what my limits are to record. And I don't want to record a video where I go, yeah, hey guys, this is a uh, what is here and. You know, I don't want to fall asleep. So that's how I used to be. I used to just fall asleep. Now I know what my limitations are to what I can do. If I can log on and play after work. If I can do other things. If I'm on for a weekend and I have the weekend off, I try to do a couple videos ahead. I've been slacking in that. But let's just say that tonight I'll probably do some League. Uh, I might get some league games in, or I might do some PvP and WoW, or I might start a leveling series from 70 to 8 to 90 with my monk. Who knows? There's uh, multiple things that can happen, and I do want to try to live stream later on tonight too. So, if you uh, haven't, go to Twitch.tv/Halvanus. Go and follow. If you follow and I go live, you're going to be notified as soon as I go live. And then we can start the fun. Um, uh, I post when when a video is posted, it goes to my Twitter. It go, it's it's Twitter at Halvanus. At Halvanus is Twitter. You can look that up. Um, 
uh, of course, I have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Uh If you go there and hit the like button, that shows me that you appreciate, that you will uh, appreciate, but you, you kind of support me and whatnot. And I don't really care if you sign it or not. I don't care if you like it or not. Um, that's just how I want it to go. So, I think I've talked enough in this video. I'm probably going to do a vlog later on tonight about what's been happening at work and what's what's going on for the future. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. This is the second video of the day. If you haven't seen the first video, head on over to... Well, it's probably not up yet. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, it was a video response to Sinister B. Um, he made his first video today. And I wanted to show my support to him. Uh, so, if you would like to, go over to his channel, Sinners to be Infamous. Um, I'll probably link it in the description. Or not the description. I'll probably link it in, uh, on my channel, so you can see it. And, um, go ahead and subscribe to him. Give him a little love. Tell him in his comments that, uh, you know, how Honda sent you. And, uh, let's see if we can help him get into YouTube really good. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic Easter weekend. Uh, and most importantly, uh, I hope that you have fun with your families. I hope that you are safe. And above all else, I hope that somewhere in the world there are nice people trying to help people who are less fortunate than themselves. Um, I can't really do anything this year, but you know, maybe in the future I'll do, when I can, I'll do a charity uh, type deal where we'll try to get some funds raised up. I don't have a lot of pull in the YouTube community, but I would like to try to at least, you know, get even a $20 donation to a charity would help that charity tons. Um, just the way things have been just the way things have been in my life and, and how I see things now how I'm a different person than I used to be uh, and I try to take you know life to its fullest now um, you know it, there's a lot of a lot of things in life that are worth doing and being kind to people and trying to help those less fortunate are one of those things that people hold dearly to their to their deathbed so, uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can do a twenty dollar donation or whatever, or even more. It doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, guys, enough of the savvy stuff. Thank you guys for watching the video. Peace out, and be on the lookout for some new videos coming out soon. See you guys.